Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today, I got a package in the mail. It's from one of the fans of the channel. He sent me a rotary push bore engine. I never knew they had such a thing. It's uh, the, the name of it's uh, K R E I S K O L B E N motor. Uh, I guess it's made by Saks. I heard of, you know, rotary engines and like Mazda pickups and stuff back like in the 80s and stuff, but I never I never knew they had a rotary engine for a push more. He said his uncle had a small shop, small engine shop for 50 plus years and he passed away a few years ago and he got all his stuff and this was in the back room and he says it looks like it's never even been used. That's kind of, I, wanna, I don't want to ruin it, but I want to kind of tear it apart a little bit see kind of like what's in it i was thinking on mounting it on old mosal push more so hope you enjoy the video that's the name of it i don't know how do you pronounce it it's a two cycle engine has the old mix chart on it and it tells your stop all the way up to start with choke and that's this lever here there's like the model number of it but yeah it's kind of cool and by the looks of the carburetor on there I figure what, you like 1970s, 1980s, somewhere in there? I don't know, but it's kind of want to take it apart a little bit and see what that rotor looks like inside because I've I've heard, always heard about these rotary, rotary engines, but I don't want to ruin no gaskets or nothing, but just kind of slowly tear it apart and see, see how this thing works. I'm kind of curious. We'll go ahead and take this recoil off. And under here it says, Aotiao Wolf. And on top here, it says System NS2 Wankel. I don't know if it's made in America or made in a different country. But it's hard to believe this thing's never been used. That's kind of, I'm kind of curious. Take it apart a little bit. I know it's kind of dirty. I kind of wipe it off. But the guy that sent it, his name is Joe. So I appreciate you sending that to me, Joe. So he likes my videos. It's kind of the mechanism on the recoil. Looks like it's brand new. Well, it's kind of a unique setup. Tipped up like this to unhook the, unhook the fuel line. And on the bottom here, it looks like it has some kind of a counterweight thing on here. Inside the tank looks brand new. Kind of want to say the sticker and kind of clean this up a little bit. Like we got the screen shroud on here. Oh, that's like the governor. Oh, yeah. When you put it over the fast, it pulls this arm back, puts more pressure on that versus, versus that. So them fins, that's all aluminum, too. Them fins must blow the air through here, and that's what regulates the speed. <laughs> kind of cool. Maybe I take this top shroud off before I can take that flywheel off. And these, where the bolts come in on, has a bolt and a nut, and just slides up in that little cut out there. So I suppose I better hook the spring. I don't want to stretch that spring out, because that's going to come off. Make sure I don't lose that. There must be a screw in the front and the back, too, it looks like. It looks like we got to take this... Take this muffler off. There's a bolt back here, and evidently there must be one by the carburetor, too. Do a little pry. I don't want to damage nothing, so be really careful on that. There's, don't look like there's even exhaust in there. Let's pull that. I take this blow here. I want to pull the plug out once. That's kind of unique how that. They made that. Here's your air filter. My gaskets are in really good shape, too. I'm sure I can never find gaskets for this. So, right, one more right here. You can tell it came from a humid climate because a, a lot of corrosion on this. Just don't want to damage it. That's crazy looking. Looks like it's a Bosch plug. Maybe, maybe it's German. Maybe that's a German name. 
Well, this will be the tail if this thing's ever been ran. Well, uh, it, it was started up once, it looks like, but not very long. But the electrodes on the side, on the side of the plug there. So we better take the bowl off the carburetor too. I thought he, oh well, it's still, still awesome to see. Now I want to take this flywheel off because see if it's electronic or like points. So let me grab a socket for that nut and I got to find a puller. Puller for that, see if that's probably metric too. Yeah, I'm going to use my harmonic. Balancer, pull you on there, puller. Might need different washers on there. Let me try different washers, skinnier washers. Just don't want to damage nothing on this. Okay, let's try that. Spray a little lubricant on that once. There we go. Here's the inside of that. File out of your magnets over here. Interesting. And these bolts right here must take it. I really want to see what that rotor looks like in there. I, just, I don't want to damage no gaskets, but I really want to see that. So I think what I'm going to do is be very careful. And even on the, the car. The car ones, you know, I always seen pictures of them. I never actually seen the rotary, them triangle chamber box pistons or whatever. It's not really called a piston, but that three part chamber in them things. Some little, little nuts and washers on here. They got to take that bolt out right there for the spark plug. I'm going to get a little cup to start putting all these bolts in there. I don't wanna lose nothing. And looks like we have to unhook a kill wire off the carburetor here. There we go. Looks like this thing is pretty simple so far. Unless this whole thing, whole thing slides up. That's all connected to it or what? I don't know. Just don't want to ruin nothing here. Gotta take this keyway out, it looks like. Like something's caught on there. There's points under here. It's almost like this red thing should, should slide down under there. Like I said, I don't want to break nothing because I'm sure I can't get no parts for it. Hmm. There's our points. I kind of bent that. Kind of bent that a little bit. But this red thing should slide down. There we go. It's stuck. This is like that. And this came around and sat over here. Like this here, maybe. I'm sure I didn't damage it. So, I'm going to mark this right here because that's you take this bolt or screw out here and this plate will come off. But I want to mark it exactly where it is so we don't have to adjust the points. So, there's a point right here. See that point is right there? I marked that. And there we go. Okay. I'm going to take a rag and wipe that off real quick. I'm going to spray a little WD-40 on that. Get that little lubrication on that seal. I just don't want to ruin this, but I'm just so curious. So curious on what the inside of this thing looks like. So... I don't know, I need to take that carburetor off first or what? Oh, forgot one. Okay, here it goes. I'll be doggone, look at that thing. And on top here, got these like... Must be like the rings or something, huh? Good thing I didn't lose them. You know, it really don't look like it's been used. If it did, it just barely, because I'm in them walls. 
They're so clean. That is so cool how that works. So here's the exhaust port right there. And bring it around here. And the intake's on top. Gas comes from the carburetor and it goes in this port right here. Look at that needle bearings in there and everything. It goes in that port there. There's your spark hole right there. That is so cool. I never knew they made nothing like this for a lawnmower. That is awesome. Pretty doggone cool, if you ask me. Before I put this together, I'm going to spray some WD 40 in here for lube because it's a two cycle engine. But I just want to take it apart. Look, I hope you enjoy a look at that. But I'll get it. I'll get it put back together, and we'll put it. We'll put it on an old Mosul, old three wheeled push mower. I think that'd be kind of cool. A vintage lawnmower with a vintage engine on it. It's kind of amazing how that works. Got your compression, ignition, and exhaust, all like in one one rotation. It looks like because the air and stuff will go in here. As it's coming around in here, then there's spark plug holes right here, so it ignites right here, and it blows this triangle and pushes out the exhaust. That's kind of neat. All right, well, I'm going to get this put back together here real quick.